Every place has its own legends which add to the history of the area and its culture. Though some are harmless, others are supposed to terrify you, making you steer clear of dangerous spots or keep you closer to home. We love urban legends because even if you don't like to admit it, most of us love getting scared. It's thrilling. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm going to be counting down our list of the Top 5 Scary Florida Urban Legends. Before we begin though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that, let's jump in. In at number 5 we have Space Mountain. There are a surprising amount of urban legends surrounding this ride at Disney World which is odd, it is just a ride after all right? Nothing strange about it. According to legend one rider was decapitated while on Space Mountain because he supposedly stood up while riding. An idiot. Now this is only a little bit true, there was a decapitation but it was on a test dummy, not a real person. No person has ever been killed while riding Space Mountain. However there is another dark legend that surrounds this ride. According to legend on Space Mountain you can find Mr. One Way. Some accounts describe Mr. One Way as a red haired man with a red face, with stories stating that he hangs out in the line for Space Mountain. But this differs depending on who you ask, according to video footage Mr. One Way will sometimes get onto the ride with other passengers, grabbing an available seat. However, it is said that he disappears right before you reach the final tunnel at the end of the ride. On top of that, there is supposedly a second ghost called Disco Debbie, who is also said to haunt Space Mountain, and according to some riders, she glows in the dark. Very freaky indeed. Coming in at number 4 we have Magnolia Creek Lake. Magnolia was once a thriving riverport town in southern Wakula County, Florida which was established all the way back in the 1820s and is now classified as an extinct city by the state library and archives of Florida. All that remains of the city is a cemetery with the last known burial being back in 1859. Magnolia Creek Lane is a narrow road fit for one car at a time south of Montverde on the west side of Lake Apopka. According to legend the road and surrounding Lake is haunted by around 200 passengers who were killed in a train wreck. However, many have attempted to find evidence of this, but none has ever been found, yet the legend continues. Now while the road appears to be built on an old train track, the only documented railroad ran slightly north of the location. Now this road is supposedly where all kinds of horrible things happened back in the 1890s and according to some locals at the creek that runs to Lake Apopka, you can hear the loud screams in the woods, however when you get closer they move farther away. The scream are said to be that of the train crew that died. However, skeptics believe this is actually sound that is being reflected from another place. According to a local, Michelle, she said, I quote, My cousin went to Montverde Academy and heard about this road that runs off 455 that used to be a railroad bed. And they say that if you go down there at night, you can hear ghostly sounds and see eerie shadows of people walking on the road. I don't know for sure about this because I never went there, so it is just what I heard. Coming in at number 3, I4 Dead Zone. Interstate 4 is a highway in Florida that spans 132 miles with it running from Tampa all the way to Daytona Beach. Now the interstate is frequented daily by folks heading to work and those on their way to Disney World. Now while it is a popular highway, it is also another nickname for it, the dead zone, an area where folks need to be particularly careful. This area of the highway has been the location of many accidents, electronic malfunctions, as well as supposed ghost sightings. So why exactly is this spot so dangerous and filled with so much paranormal activity. Well this is because this quarter mile of highway was built over a gravesite. And as we know from movies, a disturbed gravesite means bad news bears. It means you're in for a nasty surprise. It means you're gonna die. Don't believe it? Well oddly enough on the very first day the new interstate was opened, a tractor trailer carrying frozen goods lost control and crashed directly above the disturbed graves of people who had died from yellow fever. It is believed that around 1500 to 2000 accidents have occurred on the highway since 1960 which is a lot. And worse still, many of those accidents resulted in death and between a 24 month period there were around 44 car accidents resulting in approximately 65 people being injured. Some locals fear this area of the highway so much that they actually take a much longer route around it. On top of all of this, back in the 1950s a young boy was said to have disturbed the graves and the following night he was killed by a drunk driver. And to add insult to injury, the driver was never caught. Coming in at number 2 we have the devil's chair. 
Also known as the haunted chair, this is an urban legend hailing from folklore that is attached to a class of funerary or memorial sculpture common throughout the United States during the 19th century. Now, these chairs were known as the mourning chairs for visitors to cemeteries to sit on when visiting loved ones. However, since then, cemeteries have provided benches for similar purposes. Once the original purpose of these chairs fell out of fashion, superstition quickly developed in association with sitting in the chair. For example, some young people dare one another to visit the site, most often after dark or at midnight, or in some cases on Halloween. Stories state that if you sit in the chair at these specific times, something awful will happen, with people fearing that they will be punished. In Florida specifically, the Devil's Chair is located in Casadega, Florida, and is a graveside bench in the cemetery that borders Casadega as well as Lake Helen. According to legend, an unopened can of beer left on the chair will be empty by morning. Now, in some stories, the can has already been opened, and in others, the liquid is simply gone through the unopened top. On top of that, it is said that the devil will sometimes appear to anyone bold enough to sit in the chair itself. So if you do decide to visit the chair at night and take a seat expecting to meet the devil, just be sure to have a beer in hand ready for him, because it is said that he will be expecting one. As am I, all the time. I would like a beer. Maybe that's why I'm evil. I'm the devil. And finally, coming in at number one, Legend of the Skunk Ape. Also known as the Swamp Cabbage Man, Swamp Ape, Stink Ape, Florida Bigfoot, and Louisiana Bigfoot, this is a creature that is said to inhabit Florida and is named for its appearance and for its unpleasant odor that is said to accompany it. The ape has supposedly been a part of Florida folklore since the settler period, which is absolutely insane. One of the first reports of the skunk ape in Florida came from the year 1818, when a report spoke of a man sized monkey or ape raiding stores and stores. Fishermen. This became particularly common in the 60s and 70s, with one sighting occurring in 1974, which spoke of a large, foul smelling, hairy ape like creature, which was said to run upright on two legs in the neighborhood of Dade County, Florida. However, some people were skeptical, including investigator Joe Nickel, who stated that these reports may represent a black bear and that other sightings may in fact be hoaxes or misidentification of wildlife. In terms of appearance, the creature is said to resemble the Sasquatch of the Pacific Northwest. However, the skunk Cape is said to be shorter in comparison, has long patches of fur on the shoulders and arm, and is often described as a mottled, rusty red colour, as opposed to the Sasquatch's brown and black coat. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? With any Florida urban legends that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top five cursed houses you should never enter. Jessica Thill said they also say a succubus haunts the ancient Ram Inn. I need to go. I like succubus. Is succubi? I don't know what the plural is, but if I could be anything other than myself, I'd be a succubus. I'd love to go. Also, one of my favorite shows, Lost Girl, was about succubus, even though it wasn't the best show, but it was good. Edmund Williams said, My favorite haunted house is Lucy's. Well, joke's on you, I live in a condo. But it's probably it's haunted. You can ask Joss. She would confirm. Sarah Davis said, Thank you, Lucy, and all the editors and everyone behind the camera for the great video. You're very welcome. You can thank me, me, and me. Just me. You can also thank Chris, I guess. Yeah. There you go. Guybox3 said, Does anybody else wait around for the bloopers just so they might get a chance to hear Lucy giggle? It is the highlight of these videos. So cute. Yeah, sometimes a giggle slips out. Okay. It's instinct. When I think I'm funny, I laugh. I'm my biggest fan, and that's all that matters. McCain Chant said, I like looking up Lucy's nose. Okay, it's not my problem that this is how I am. So, if you want to look, you've just got to look up my nose, I'm afraid. Nothing wrong with it. Stare up it. Jammy Fish said, Who else thinks Queen Lucy resembles Casper with delicate white complexion? Uh, Casper is a man, a, a boy ghost. But sure, I'll take it. Whatever. I am like, hmm? Friendly. Well, am I really like Casper? Casper the friendly ghost? I don't think I'd be friendly. Just because I'm pale doesn't mean I'm Casper. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary bit. Until next time, see you later. Every place has its own legends, which add to this history. Not this. Every. Okay, restart. <laughs> don't know where I was going with the rest. <laughs> Thought I was going to say something else. <laughs> My mind went blank. It's. Thrilling. <laughs> I just, I'm not gonna redo that line because I like this weird. <laughs> it's thrilling. <clears throat> Nothing strange about it, according to one legend. 
I just need to burp and it's really distracting me. <sighs> yeah, I need to be. Sounds like a blast to me. It's hot in here. However, since the scent, I need to burp. I just heard it's because I had A&W. <laughs> I'm a gassy gal. Um, I had root beer. I had um, I had my Beyond Meat burger, and I have some russet russet fries with some barbecue sauce. So. No, they're just the you know plain Jane. Okay. Mm, they just say russet cut fries, and they're just normal. Yeah. Oh, I've got hair in my mouth. 